Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel and hit bell icon to get notification when we upload new video on channel. In previous video, you have learned how to do calibration of differential pressure transmitter. You can find link for those videos in description box. In this video, you will learn what is square root extractor in differential pressure transmitter and linear to square root milliampere conversion formula for DP transmitter. Lastly, linear to square root percentage conversion formula for DP transmitter. First of all, what is square root extractor? As we know that, the relationship between flow rate and differential pressure is nonlinear. In other words, flow rate is directly proportional to square root of differential pressure. Or we can say that, differential pressure developed by orifice plate or any other acceleration-based flow element is proportional to square of the flow rate. So, square root extractor is an electronic or pneumatic device that takes the square root of the signal from the flow transmitter, and produce outputs a corresponding to linear flow signal. In other words, it takes square root input milliampere signal from DP transmitter, and converts it into linear milliampere signal. As you can see from the picture that, the square root function was performed in a separate device called a square root extractor in the days of pneumatic instrumentation. Nowadays, all the smart DP transmitter comes with square root extractor function. In other words, user can select square root extractor function from transmitter. Now, let's try to understand linear milliampere to square root milliampere conversion for DP transmitter. As you can see, this is a standard formula in order to convert any linear milliampere signal to square root milliampere signal. In this formula, you just need to put linear milliampere value, and it will give square root milliampere value corresponding to your linear milliampere signal. For example, if linear analog output is 5 milliamperes, what is square root output for this input? Now, we have the formula. So, put 5 milliampere in this formula. And after this, it is simple math calculation. As you can see from this example that, we have not changed any other value except linear milliampere value. This simple formula is enough to convert any linear milliampere value into square root milliampere value. So, in this example, square root output is 8 milliampere for 5 milliampere linear signal. Let's take second example. If linear output is 8 milliamperes, what is square root milliampere output for this input? Now, put 8 milliamperes in this equation, and do the simple math calculation. So, it will give you 12 milliamperes value. In other words, square root output is 12 milliamperes, when linear input is 8 milliamperes. Let's take third example. If linear output is 13 milliamperes, what is square root milliampere output? Now, put 13 milliamperes in this equation and do the simple math calculation. It will give you 16 milliamperes result. So, square root output is 16 milliamperes, when linear input is 13 milliamperes. Now, let's try to understand square root milliampere to linear milliampere conversion. So, this is a standard formula for square root milliampere to linear milliampere conversion. You just need to put square root output milliampere value, and it gives linear output milliampere value. Let's take one example to understand this conversion. If square root output is 6 milliamperes, what is linear output? So, put 6 milliampere in this formula. After this, it is simple math calculation. As you can see from this example that, that all values remain same except square root milliampere value. In this example, calculation result is 4.25 milliampere. In other words, linear output is 4.25 milliampere for 6 milliampere square root output. Now, let's try to understand linear percentage to square root percentage conversion. 
This is a standard formula for linear percentage to square root percentage conversion. In this formula, x is linear percentage value. Let's take this example to understand this conversion. For example, convert 50 percentage linear to square root percentage. So, we will put 50 in our formula. So, square root of 50 is 7.071, which is multiply with 10. And it gives 70.71. It is simple math calculation. Now, let's go to next example. Convert 75 percentage linear input to square root percentage output. Let's put 75 in this formula. Square root of 75 is 8.660, and it multiply with 10. Which gives 86.60. So, Square root output is 86.60 for 75 percentage linear input. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions regarding this video, please feel free to ask me questions in comment box. I will try to give best possible answers to your questions.